In the glamorous world of Hollywood, where fame and fortune often collide, few names evoke a mysterious appeal like Steven Seagal. In this fascinating video, we uncover the secrets behind Seagal's lavish existence in 2024, from his incredible net worth to his enviable car collection and magnificent mansion his. Prepare to be mesmerized by the glamour of Hollywood as we delve into the lavish life of one of America's most iconic stars. But before we start, I want to invite the audience to look back at his career journey and background. Let's get started. Background Born on April 10, 1952, in Lansing, Michigan, Steven Seagal's early life was marked by a blend of diverse ancestry and geographical shifts. His mother, Patricia Ann Fisher, worked as a medical technician, while his father, Samuel Seagal, was a mathematics teacher. With roots tracing back to Irish and Russian Jewish immigrants, Seagal's heritage encompassed a rich tapestry of cultural influences. During an interview on the Russian talk show Let Them Talk, Seagal revealed intriguing details about his paternal lineage, connecting him to the Siberian city of Vladivostok, as well as regions like Belarus and St. Petersburg. Genetic testing further unveiled ancestral ties to the Yakut and Buryat peoples, adding layers to his family history. At the age of five, Seagal's family relocated to Fullerton, California, a move that his mother attributed to his improved health. She recounted to People magazine how Seagal, once frail and afflicted by asthma in Michigan, flourished after the transition. Buena Park High School and Fullerton College marked his educational journey during the early 1970s. However, amidst the backdrop of his accomplishments, Seagal's reputation has been marred by allegations of embellishment and falsehoods. Described as a pathological liar, he has faced scrutiny for making exaggerated claims about his life, including assertions of studying under Aikido's founder, Morihei Ueshiba. Such claims clash with historical timelines, as Ueshiba passed away in 1969, years before Seagal's purported move to Japan at age 22. Seagal's narrative, woven with strands of truth and controversy, underscores the complexity of identity and the allure of mythmaking in the realm of celebrity. Career in 1987, Steven Seagal embarked on his cinematic journey with the production of his inaugural film, Above the Law, known as Nico, in Europe, under the direction of Andrew Davis. The inception of this project was spurred by a unique collaboration between Seagal and his former Aikido pupil turned agent, Michael Ovitz. Ovitz, renowned for his eye for talent, believed in Seagal's potential to shine on the silver screen. A conviction that would soon be validated, Above the Law, resonated with audiences, grossing a formidable $18,869,631 in the United States alone. Renowned film critic Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times praised the film, noting its surplus of plot that allowed for exploration beyond the confines of typical action thrillers. Buoyed by the success of his debut, Seagal swiftly ascended to the echelons of action hero status with subsequent hits like Hard to Kill, Marked for Death, and Out for Justice. These films captivated audiences, cementing Seagal's reputation as a formidable force in the action genre. Janet Maslin of the New York Times lauded Seagal's prowess, acknowledging his ability to captivate audiences both through his unconventional approach and his disarmingly charismatic persona. The pinnacle of Seagal's career arrived in 1992 with the release of Under Siege, a gripping action thriller helmed once again by director Andrew Davis. Garnering acclaim from critics, the film was hailed as a standout in Seagal's filmography, Rotten Tomatoes bestowed upon it a commendable 79% rating, praising its taut direction and Seagal's compelling performance. However, amidst his triumphs on the silver screen, Seagal's tenure as a host on Saturday Night Live in April 1991 proved to be a tumultuous chapter. Cast members and crew members alike voiced grievances about his demeanor, citing instances of humorlessness and mistreatment. Seagal's refusal to engage in certain sketches further exacerbated tensions, culminating in a strained relationship with the show's producers. Despite the passage of time, the fallout from his SNL appearance continues to linger, serving as a cautionary tale within the annals of television history. Seagal directed and starred in On Deadly Ground, 1994, featuring Michael Caine, R. Lee Ermey, and Billy Bob Thornton in minor supporting roles. The film emphasized environmental and spiritual themes, signaling a break with his previous persona as a genre-ready inner-city cop. On Deadly Ground was poorly received by critics, especially denouncing Seagal's long environmental speech in the film. Regardless, Seagal considers it one of the most important and relevant moments in his career. 
Seagal followed this with a sequel to one of his most successful films, Under Siege. Titled Under Siege 2, Dark Territory, 1995, in 1996, he had a role in the Kurt Russell film Executive Decision, portraying a special ops soldier who appears in only the film's first 45 minutes. Former Warner Brothers Vice President Bill Daly later stated Seagal agreed to the role in exchange for the studio for giving him losing his director's salary due to going over budget with On Deadly Ground. The same year, he filmed a police drama The Glimmer Man, 1996. In another environmentally conscious and commercially unsuccessful film, Fire Down Below, 1997. He played an EPA Office of Enforcement and Compliance Assurance agent fighting industrialists dumping toxic waste in the Kentucky Hills. In 1998, Seagal made The Patriot, another environmental thriller which was his first direct-to-video release in the United States, though it was released theatrically in most of the world. Seagal produced this film with his own money, and the film was shot on location on and near his farm in Montana. After producing Prince of Central Park, Seagal returned to cinema screens with the release of Exit Wounds in March 2001. The film had fewer martial arts scenes than Seagal's previous films, but it was a commercial success, taking almost $80 million worldwide. It was considered at the time to be a comeback for Seagal. However, Seagal was unable to capitalize on this success and his next two projects were both critical and commercial failures. The movie Ticker, co-starring Tom Sizemore and Dennis Hopper, was filmed in San Francisco before Exit Wounds, and went straight to DVD. Half Past Dead, starring hip-hop star Ja Rule, made less than $20 million worldwide, following his memorable turn as a villain in Robert Rodriguez's Machete in 2010. Seagal's cinematic offerings have primarily found their way to audiences through the direct-to-video DTV, market in North America. While a few of his productions did secure theatrical releases in overseas markets, Seagal's presence on the big screen in his home country has been notably scarce. Despite this shift away from traditional theatrical distribution, Seagal has remained deeply involved in the production process of his DTV ventures, often assuming roles as a producer and occasionally contributing to the writing of scripts. Titles such as Black Dawn, Belly of the Beast, and Driven to Kill stand as testaments to his enduring commitment to the craft of filmmaking, even within the constraints of the DTV format. Notably, Beyond the Law, in 2019 marked a departure from this trend, offering audiences in North America a rare theatrical experience with a Seagal-led production. Beyond his contributions to the silver screen, Seagal made waves in the realm of reality television with the premiere of Steven Seagal, Lawman on A. Despite often receiving top billing, films like Maximum Conviction and The Perfect Weapon exemplify this trend, eliciting criticism from some quarters regarding the depth of Seagal's involvement in projects that heavily rely on his star power for promotion. In 2011, Seagal ventured into American television production with True Justice, a series blending action and drama. Premiering initially on Nitro in Spain before making its way to the UX5 USA, the series garnered a loyal following. Its success led to a renewal for a second season, with Seagal's influence extending even into its distribution, as the series was repackaged as a series of DVD movies in the UK, offering audiences a condensed viewing experience. Marshall, Steven Seagal's journey into the world of martial arts and beyond is a tale of intrigue and controversy. Marked by claims of prowess and disputed allegations, Seagal's first wife, Miyako Fujitani, paints a vivid picture of their early days together, highlighting their marriage in December 1974 after meeting in California. Fujitani, a second-degree black belt and scion of an Aikido dynasty, played a pivotal role in Seagal's immersion into the world of martial arts, with Seagal eventually earning his own black belt in Aikido by 1978. However, Fujitani's accounts also shed light on the murkier aspects of Seagal's martial arts journey particularly regarding the circumstances of his Black Belt Award, she alleges that Seagal's attainment of the prestigious rank was marred by the judge's lethargy during the evaluation process, suggesting a less-than-meritorious path to mastery. Beyond the dojo, Seagal's claims of involvement with the CIA add layers of intrigue to his narrative. While Seagal asserts his role as an advisor to CIA agents in Japan, Fujitani vehemently refutes these assertions, casting doubt on Seagal's purported exploits. Similarly, Seagal's boasts of confronting Yakuza in Japan are met with skepticism, with no substantiated evidence of his involvement with the clandestine world of intelligence agencies or organized crime.
The tumultuous dynamic between Seagal and Fujitani comes to a head as Seagal harbors aspirations of Hollywood stardom. Fujitani, according to her account, sacrifices her own financial stability to support Seagal's ambitions, only to be left in the lurch as Seagal allegedly absconds with her savings. Seagal's journey takes him from the shores of Japan to the deserts of New Mexico, where he establishes a dojo with his student Craig Dunn. However, Seagal's interests soon veer into other ventures, leaving Dunn to manage the dojo as Seagal embarks on further pursuits. Returning to the United States in 1983, Seagal partners with senior student Haruo Matsuoka to establish an Aikido dojo in North Hollywood, later relocating to West Hollywood. However, Seagal's relationship with Matsuoka ultimately unravels, leading to their parting of ways in 1997. Despite the controversies surrounding Seagal, his influence extends beyond the realm of martial arts. Brazilian mixed martial artist Lyoto Machida credits Seagal with refining his front kick. A technique that proved decisive in his victory over Randy Couture at UFC 129 in May 2011, adding another layer of complexity to Seagal's enigmatic legacy. Mansion in Los Angeles, action star Steven Seagal is making another move in the real estate market, this time setting his sights on a sale in the sprawling Arizona desert. His lavish 12-acre compound, nestled outside Scottsdale, has hit the market with a price tag of $3.4 million. This desert oasis, which Seagal acquired for $3.5 million back in 2010, boasts a grand 9,000-square-foot home crafted from a striking blend of stone, copper, and glass. The custom-built residence perfectly embodies Seagal's larger-than-life persona, fitting for a Hollywood icon whose cinematic repertoire includes blockbuster hits like Above the Law, Hard to Kill, and Under Siege. Tucked away within a guard-gated community, the house offers a cinematic vista of the surrounding desert landscape, framed by floor-to-ceiling windows crafted from bulletproof glass. Perched majestically on a hillside, the house is adorned with lifelike statues that stand guard over the exterior. Lending an air of regal splendor, inside, the living spaces are adorned with stone columns and skylights, creating an ambiance of modern opulence. The sprawling layout encompasses five bedrooms, 5.5 bathrooms, a cozy living room with a fireplace, a two-story atrium, and even a private movie theater, ensuring that every entertainment need is met with style and sophistication. Outside, expansive decks encircle the home, providing ample space for outdoor relaxation and entertainment. One such deck features an infinity-edge pool that seemingly merges with the desert horizon below, offering a tranquil oasis amidst the rugged beauty of the Arizona landscape. And now, let's explore his luxury cars together. Cars Steven Seagal's automotive collection boasts an impressive lineup of vehicles that reflect both luxury and performance. Among his prized possessions is the Cadillac Escalade, a symbol of opulence and style. This spacious SUV offers a blend of comfort and sophistication, making it a popular choice among celebrities and dignitaries alike. Adding to his collection is the Mercedes-AMG G63, a rugged yet refined off-road vehicle known for its robust engineering and formidable performance capabilities. With its distinctive boxy design and powerful engine, the G63 is a favorite among enthusiasts seeking adventure without compromising on luxury. Seagal's fleet also includes the BMW i8, a futuristic plug-in hybrid sports car that combines sleek aesthetics with eco-friendly technology. With its innovative design and impressive acceleration, the i8 represents the pinnacle of automotive engineering, offering a glimpse into the future of sustainable mobility. However, standing out among Seagal's collection is the Armored Storm MPV, a formidable vehicle weighing 1.4 tons. This imposing machine is designed to withstand extreme conditions and provide unparalleled security making it the ultimate choice for VIPs and dignitaries requiring enhanced protection on the road. From luxury SUVs to high-performance sports cars and armored vehicles, Steven Seagal's automotive collection reflects his diverse tastes and appreciation for both style and functionality. Each vehicle in his possession tells a story of craftsmanship, innovation, and the pursuit of excellence on the open road. Music Seagal's storied career has taken him from the martial arts dojos of Japan to the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. A native of Michigan, he rose to fame as an action star, captivating audiences with his unique blend of martial arts prowess and on-screen charisma. Despite his illustrious film career spanning three decades, Seagal shows no signs of slowing down, with his most recent project being the 2019 action thriller, Beyond the Law. Beyond his cinematic exploits, 
Seagal has also ventured into the world of music, releasing two studio albums that further cement his status as a multifaceted entertainer. Among his impressive collection are guitars once owned by legendary figures such as Albert, B.B., and Freddie King, as well as icons like Bo Diddley, Stevie Ray Vaughan, and Jimi Hendrix. Seagal's musical journey took a significant leap in 2005 with the release of his debut album, Songs from the Crystal Cave, a genre-defying blend of pop, world, country, and blues music. This debut offering featured collaborations with esteemed artists such as Tony Rebel, Lt. Stitchy, Lady Saw, and even the legendary Stevie Wonder. Notably, several tracks from the album found their way into the soundtrack of Seagal's 2005 film, Into the Sun, further amplifying his musical reach. One standout single from the album, Girl It's Alright, was even released with an accompanying music video, gaining traction in select countries. Building on the success of his debut, Seagal dropped his sophomore album, Mojo Priest, in April 2006, showcasing his continued evolution as a musician. Eager to share his music with audiences far and wide, Seagal embarked on a summer tour across the United States and Europe with his band, Thunderbox, to promote the album and connect with fans on a more intimate level. Seagal's foray into the music industry not only demonstrates his artistic versatility but also underscores his deep passion for the craft. Beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Seagal's musical endeavors serve as a testament to his enduring creativity and commitment to self-expression, cementing his status as a multifaceted entertainer with talents that extend far beyond the silver screen. Law enforcement work, initially serving as a reserve deputy sheriff, Seagal's involvement with the force began in the late 1980s when he imparted his expertise in martial arts, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and marksmanship to deputies. Impressed by his contributions, then-Sheriff Harry Lee extended an invitation for Seagal to officially join the force, albeit with a purely ceremonial rank. Seagal's tenure with the sheriff's office garnered widespread attention, culminating in the debut of the television series, Steven Seagal. Lawman, on A. Although the suit was later dismissed, the controversy temporarily halted production. Undeterred by the setback, A. 2014, marking Seagal's continued dedication to showcasing the efforts of law enforcement personnel. However, despite its compelling content, the show failed to secure a renewal for a fourth season. In October 2011, Seagal expanded his law enforcement portfolio by being sworn in as a deputy sheriff of the Hudspeth County, Texas Sheriff's Department. Tasked with patrolling a significant stretch of the Texas-Mexico border, Seagal's involvement underscored his ongoing commitment to public service beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. Business. In 1997, Seagal was slated to make an appearance in an action video game titled, Deadly Honor, for the Nintendo 64 and original PlayStation consoles. However, the game was abruptly cancelled during the beta development phase, leaving fans speculating about the reasons behind its demise. In 2005, Seagal Enterprises dipped its toes into the beverage market with the launch of, Steven Seagal's Lightning Bolt, an energy drink touted to provide a burst of energy and vitality. Unfortunately, the drink failed to gain traction and was ultimately discontinued, marking a rare misstep for Seagal in the world of business. Undeterred by setbacks, Seagal expanded his brand further by venturing into the realm of personal care products, including an aftershave named, Scent of Action. Additionally, he capitalized on his martial arts expertise by endorsing a variety of knives and weapons, catering to enthusiasts and collectors alike. In a surprising turn of events in 2013, Seagal made headlines by joining forces with the newly formed Russian arms manufacturer Orsis. Acting as the company's spokesperson, Seagal played a pivotal role in promoting their products while also lobbying for the relaxation of U.S. import restrictions on Russian sport guns. This partnership showcased Seagal's international reach and influence, highlighting his ability to navigate the complex world of geopolitics. Furthermore, Seagal's collaboration with Orsis extended beyond mere promotion, as he embarked on a venture to develop a signature long-range rifle bearing his name, aptly dubbed, Steven Seagal's Orsis. This ambitious project underscored Seagal's commitment to innovation and marked a significant milestone in his ongoing entrepreneurial journey. From video games to energy drinks and firearms, Steven Seagal's diverse business ventures reflect his entrepreneurial spirit and willingness to explore new horizons beyond the silver screen. Despite encountering challenges along the way, Seagal's resilience and determination continue to drive him towards success in both the entertainment industry and the world of business. Personal Life Steven Seagal's life story unfolds like a tapestry woven with threads of spirituality, 
international intrigue, and familial bonds. A devoted Buddhist, Seagal's spiritual journey took an unexpected turn in February 1997 when Lama Panora Rinpoche from the Palo Monastery proclaimed him to be a tulku. Specifically the reincarnation of Chungdrag Dorje, a revered 17th-century figure in Tibetan Buddhism. This recognition marked a profound moment in Seagal's spiritual evolution, cementing his connection to the ancient traditions of Tibetan Buddhism. Beyond matters of the soul, Seagal's worldly affiliations span multiple nations, reflecting his global footprint. Born in the United States, he holds American citizenship by birthright. However, his ties extend far beyond American shores, with Seagal acquiring citizenship in Serbia and Russia. His Serbian citizenship, granted in January 2016, came as a result of his close ties to the country, with Seagal being invited to impart his knowledge of Aikido to the Serbian special forces. In a move that raised eyebrows around the world, Seagal was granted Russian citizenship in November 2016, following persistent requests. His close association with Russian President Vladimir Putin further fueled speculation about their relationship, with Seagal describing Putin as a brother and receiving the prestigious Order of Friendship Medal from the Russian leader in 2023. Seagal's affinity for Russia has led him to declare himself, one million percent, Russian, a sentiment underscored by his criticism of what he perceives as U.S. disinformation. Quote dot, Seagal's personal life is equally intriguing, marked by a series of relationships and family ties that span continents. His first marriage to Miyako Fujitani in Japan bore fruit in the form of two children, Kentaro Seagal and Ayako Fujitani, both of whom have made their mark in the world of entertainment. However, Seagal's marital journey took a dramatic turn when he embarked on an affair with actress and model Kelly LeBrock, leading to divorce from Fujitani and subsequent marriage to LeBrock. The union with LeBrock produced three children, Dominic, Annalisa, and Orissa, before ultimately ending in divorce. Seagal later found love again with Mongolian dancer Erdenatuya Batsuk, affectionately known as L, with whom he shares a son, Kanzong. L's journey from the children's palace in Ulaanbaatar to Seagal's side reflects the serendipitous nature of their meeting, underscoring the unexpected twists and turns of fate that have shaped Seagal's life. From spiritual enlightenment to diplomatic ties and familial bonds, Stephen Seagal's life story is a testament to the rich tapestry of experiences that define the human experience. As he continues to navigate the complexities of fame, fortune, and personal relationships, Seagal remains a figure of intrigue and fascination, captivating audiences around the world with his indomitable spirit and unwavering dedication to his beliefs. Thank you for watching the entire video. Your support means the world to us. If you liked this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You'll stay updated on all our latest uploads and help us grow our community. Thank you.